Hi everyone, it's Jessica. Thank you for joining me today. In today's project, I am actually beginning with this double page layout that I've already made. Um, I made it at a crop recently as the make and take project, but I actually have a lot more photos to document from the same weekend. So I have pulled out that same paper collection, which is the good life from close to my heart. And I am using pattern number 18 from the make it from your heart volume six pattern book. And I think that that is gonna work for the remaining photos that I have from this weekend. So I do want to make it cohesive, um, even though it's going to be its own separate double page layout. So I am pulling in the same papers, and then I've also pulled out my mix and paper pack because I'm not sure yet exactly which papers I will use, but I do want to make sure that everything kind of flows together as people are flipping through my scrapbook. So these are the papers here from the Good Life collection, which I really love. And I think that those soft blues in there work really well with my photos. You can see the Mackinac Bridge in the background. We've got the lake and the sand. Um, and so just all of those blues and browns, I think, play really nicely with my photos. So perfect to kind of keep with that same paper theme um, to go along with the other double page that I've already made. Okay, so I cut my papers according to that pattern layout, and then I haven't glued anything down yet because I do want to take a little bit of time just to prep the edges of all the papers. Um, I'm using my mocha ink and a little foam blending tool just to very lightly go across the edge of all of the papers. Now, honestly, usually when I do my edge distressing, I just grab the coordinating color of um, ink and I just swipe it right across the edge, but I wanted to keep things consistent here, so I am using mocha on every single paper and a foam tool. It just gives it a softer look. Okay, so I have done a little bit of stamping. I apologize, I thought I caught that in camera, but I missed it. Uh, I just used the stamp set called Design Elements because I had used that on the original double page layout. And again, I was looking for ways to kind of keep things consistent uh, between the two uh, double page layouts there. So now that I've got that background stamping done and then the papers just kind of tacked down, um, I'm ready to begin some of that embellishment process. So here's my thought. Got the photos there, that side I'm gonna kind of set to the side because this right-hand side of the layout is the one where the title is gonna go. And I have a little bit more blank space to play with. Now, I have a couple of products here that are not from close to my heart. They're just things in my stash from a local scrapbooking store. Like I have um, a couple of stamps and die cuts that cut out the shape of Michigan, and then I have a stencil. And I thought it would be really fun, um, given where my pictures are taken, uh, to kind of pull in some of those local um, design elements and see if I could fit them onto that white space there. Uh, so I have the Mackinac Bridge stamped and die cut out, and I know I'm definitely going to find a way to work that in because... We're at the Mackinac Bridge. Um, and I really wanted to use my stencil here as well. And I thought in my head that it would be cool in some of that blank space, but no matter how I moved that one four by six photo, I just couldn't quite find a happy place for that stencil to go. So we went ahead and added some of that same background stamping. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of turn my attention to those die cuts while I'm pondering that. So I did cut out the Mackinac Bridge uh, die cut a few more times in the same paper. Um, I'm using French vanilla here, and I'm just gonna glue them all together and stack them up so that they make a really nice, thick, chipboard-like um, uh, embellishment piece. And I'll figure out where I'm gonna put that later. I do have that Michigan over there, and I put a little bit of mist ink kind of blended into the center of that die cut. It had a lot of white space to it, and I thought it needed a little something else. I don't end up using that Michigan one on this particular layout, but you'll see at the end where I do end up working that one in. Okay, so off camera, because I had to stick my head right over the page to get things straight, I did stamp with the Prairie Alphabet stamp set, and then die cut out some letters with the Simple Serif uppercase letters. Um, I've gone ahead and put I Love You to the Mackinac Bridge and back. And I did put a couple of pencil lines directly on my paper to make sure that I got all of that straight. So I like to use my rub and remove eraser. I find that works a whole lot better than the pencil eraser. So if you ever get smudges, maybe try grabbing your rub and remove eraser instead. And now I'm just using my pile of die cuts that 
I'm not really sure exactly which ones I'm going to use or where, but I've used the same um, cardstock colors and thought I'll kind of figure out where I might be able to place these. I like the way the Mackinac Bridge kind of nestles right in that little corner there, um, but it was a little bit white on white, so I'm using some more of that mist ink just to kind of blend a little bit of a background there. Um, and I like that because it kind of looks like the sky or almost like a foggy sort of background. It, it definitely makes it pop just a little bit. And then I'm pretty happy, I think, with that stitched uh, bracket down there on the corner of my photo. So I'm going to layer that up across the, the corner of the photo and put that heart on there too. Um, and that's about all I've got figured out at this point. I really had to come back to this layout um, over the course of a couple of days because I just couldn't make any decisions about it. Um, and at one point in one of those days, I realized, you know what, I kind of forgot about the sticker sheet that goes with this paper pack. And that was awesome. Um, that really helped me out quite a bit. I was able to grab like little word strips like this one here. It says happy place. And I kind of layered that over that heart that worked out really well. I'm going to use a few more stickers over on the left hand side also. Um, and then also I have this other little Michigan die cut down here that I used in place of one of the two by two photos. Um, and it kind of bothered me because the nature of the die cut and the stamp, they couldn't really show the Straits of Mackinac. Um, and so it looks like one continuous piece of land when really there isn't. Um, so I just put a little die cut heart over that just to kind of hide that little design flaw. And then I felt like I needed something up at the top there. So again, I just had die cut a bunch of things and this is in some mist cardstock, um, but I have a strip of mist cardstock up at the top of that page. And so even though I'm using the lighter side of the cardstock for this bracket, I can tell immediately that it just, it's blending way too much and I need something to really kind of pop up there. I was hoping that it would work because I wanted to stamp something on it and I knew if I used a darker color cardstock that I wouldn't really be able to do that stamping, but yeah, you can see here, it's just, it's too matchy matchy. It's not popping enough. So I will use that Harbor colored cardstock instead. And then since I couldn't do any stamping, I thought, okay, sticker sheet to the rescue once again. And I tried a few of those little word strips out and eventually I went with the one that looks like it's on a piece of wood grain and it says our story. So we love to go to Michigan's um, Upper Peninsula up in the UP um, as often as we can. Uh, my parents have a cabin up on Whitefish Point, on Whitefish Bay um, in Lake Superior. And so we, we cross the Mackinac Bridge frequently, you know, it's not, but every time we do, it's still a little bit of a thrill for us, um, but we never really stop. We just are in a hurry to get to the cabin because it's a long drive and we just drive straight through. And on this particular weekend, we were like, we never stop. Let's stop and kind of go down to the beach and take a couple of pictures and just have a little bit of fun. And the girls were goofing around. You can see that one photo there to the right hand side. My daughter was standing on top of a pillar and then she was pretending like she was leaning on the Mackinac Bridge in the back. Background. So we had a little bit of fun with that. Um, so we're just kind of documenting um, one of our happy places and, you know, somewhere we like to go and usually just kind of drive right through, even though it's a really cool location in our state. Okay, so again, those stickers really kind of came to the rescue. There were a couple of flags on that sticker sheet, and I just cut them in half to stretch them and repurpose them um, in more places across my page. And for the other side that didn't have that little dovetail in it, I just cut my own in, and that allowed me to put some over here on the right-hand side as well. And I'm pretty much done. I'm just kind of looking to see where else can I add a few little places in. Um, at this point, I'm like, I got to bring this back, you know, together so I can see the both pages side by side. And I'm noticing I do have like a, a visual triangle over here. And then I've got a couple of other points that make another triangle. But I feel like I'm missing something over to that far left hand side. So just digging in my scraps of die cuts that I've got. And I still have a decent sized piece of that Harbor cardstock um, in that stitch bracket. So I'm going to tuck that over here and then layer another sticker over top of that. And that one just says this day. So that worked out really well. Um, later off camera, I will go digging in my stash and find some um, enamel dots that are kind of in a dark brown color. And I'll scatter them around all of those points to 
Um, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, really, it did take me a while to pull this one together, uh, but that was just because I couldn't make a decision. Um, I did really enjoy this particular pattern, and I thought it worked out nicely to complement these double pages that I had already made recently at a crop um, and just kind of finish some of the photos from that weekend. Now, my husband and I did run a race um, up at Whitefish Point that weekend, and I didn't want to do another double page layout and make this a six page spread. So I just did that little uh, photo flip flap there or um, memory protector there. And then there, I've gotten tons of photos in about four and a half <laughs> pages. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Uh, this is such a beautiful collection. Um, and I know it is from the catalog that has recently ended, um, but it life has been busy. Um, and so I hope that you guys have had a chance to play with it, um, or at the very least to check out that Make It From Your Heart Volume 6 book. There are so many fabulous patterns in there. And I just had a lot of fun putting this one together. Thank you so much for being here with me today, today, guys. I really appreciate it. I will leave links to anything that is available in the description box down below. Thank you so much and happy crafting. See you next time. Bye.